What's up outdoorsmen? Greg and Abby here and today we're going to show you how to camouflage your climbing sticks. Today we're going to be camouflaging some hunting sticks. We have all, What you'll need is some spray paint. We have three different colors. Some tape and a sponge. Yep. Uh, I went with tan, gray, and dark brown uh, just so we can try to match the colors in the woods appropriately. We got this sponge from Walmart. It's actually a loofah but it'll work great for camouflage paint. Got some muddy sticks. You can use whatever sticks you like but that's pretty much all you need and we're gonna get into it. Yep. First thing you're gonna want to do is tape off anything that you don't want to get paint on. We only needed to tape the ropes so that's all we did. Okay. You're gonna want to start with your base coat. We started with the gray because most of the oak trees I hunt around here, they have a very grayish ashen color. So our base coat was the flat primer gray. And this was just paint that I picked up at Walmart. Any flat gray paint will work. I went with the primer just because I know how flat it will be and I wanted it as flat as possible. There's really no rhyme or reason to this step here. You're just painting everything to get it flat and gray. I want to do the little one. The little one? Okay. Did you see that bit? Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies so nothing stands out once you're finished. We let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes, made sure it wasn't wet, and we started with our second coat of gray. Again, we want every single surface to be covered. We don't want any shiny objects showing up on the sticks or else the sun can reflect on that and maybe alert the deer to your presence. Yeah. Looking good. Oh, wait. Let me see if there's any touch-up. We ended up using two coats of flat primer gray as our base coat. Where? Show me where. Back there? Mm -hmm. You actually did really good. I'm having trouble finding anywhere that not hit. I, I can. You like I told you this like 17 times. And also the little legs on that thing. Wait, and on the second one. We took this thing. Yeah, those need it too. Good, good, good call. I didn't care about the backs or the bottoms of the sticks because those are going to be against the tree anyways. After the second coat of gray was dry, now it's time to add a dark stripe of brown. Is this playing now? You want this to be kind of contrasting, so I ended up just spraying three stripes of brown and then hitting some highlights. Oh, it's like brown. Mm -hmm. That's really all you want to do with this coat of brown. You're just breaking up the outline of the sticks. We can't do two coats of this, can we? Make sure you hit some highlights to keep it all hidden. Finally, you're going to use the sponge method of painting. We used the tan color first, and there's really no rhyme or reason or wrong way to do this. Just cut the sponge into little pieces, put some paint on a little piece of cardboard or a plate or a cup or whatever you have, and then start dabbing it on. Just do whatever looks good. The idea is that you break up the outline of the sticks, so pay attention to the corners and the, all the flat pieces. If there's a big splotch of brown or gray, go ahead and break that up with the tan. Just don't do too much. You're definitely I'm just dabbing. I mean, I'm not doing anything crazy. I don't I'm like scared that we'll all mess it up. You can't mess it up. Once we were done with the tan, we repeated the process with dark brown. Again, you're just breaking up the outline, so there's no wrong way to do this. Just wherever it looks like you need some color, 
dab some brown on it and you don't need a whole lot of paint and you don't have to hit it very hard with the sponge just go around and hit all the highlights and make sure it looks good and when you feel like it's enough then it's enough This is a great project to do with your kids because, like I said, there's really no way you can mess this up. Just dab it and dab it some more until it looks good, until you like it, until it makes you happy and you feel like the outline's broken up. Done. I'm done too. Hey, put a little bit more paint, a little bit of that light paint. What? Yeah, I need to look at the sides. I just kind of forgot this missed the sides a little bit. Here you can see the finished product. It turned out really nice. These sticks absolutely disappear on the tree. And you can see compared to the muddy stick, it's a huge improvement over what you would typically see from the factory. Here's the sticks on the tree. This was actually in the shade, and you can see that it just sinks right into the tree. This is in direct sunlight. That's about 25 feet away, and you can't even hardly see that second stick. The stick really disappears. This turned out really good, even better than I thought it was gonna turn out. Hey, appreciate you guys watching this today. Hopefully it helped you out, maybe you learned something, and you guys can go out and make your time in the field a little bit better. Check out some of my hunting and fishing videos if you would, and if you like this video, click the like, subscribe, and uh, help me grow the channel. That would be awesome, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the field and y'all get outdoors.